Sybil, Kim, and Sherry, welcome back to the Red Velvet Cake Studios, performing at the Arlington Improv tonight through Sunday, Robert Powell the Third. Welcome back. Thank welcome you. back, man. Thank How you, you been, man? Man, I cannot complain. Yeah. Yeah, life keep getting better. <laughs> it keep getting better. I bet. Yeah, better and better, huh? Yep. That's good for you, man. Yeah, absolutely. You yeah, got, you got in Hollywood? No, not yet. Not yet. I still, I'm still country. I still live on a small <laughs> homestead. I'm still, you know. You still in Monroe? No, no, I'm actually outside of Dallas. I got a little ranch outside of here in North Richland right? Hills. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, I'm about an hour away from here in the country. Yeah. Yeah. I like I, that. I'm still a middle of nowhere kind of guy. You still, you still part of the Who That Nation? Yeah, I, I like the Saints, but I'm a Dallas Cowboy fan. I grew up not too far from Ooh. here. Ooh. So. Yeah, so I boy, I hadn't been on Suicide Watch like air, all right. my other friends <laughs> right. from. I've been fine, but I want to encourage everybody else to keep taking your medication and praying. <laughs> it's going to work out. They're they going to let them play again next year and the year after that. <laughs> it's going to be all right. Your friends the who, yeah. in the Who That Nation they, are going furious. <laughs> furious. The, the girl here, not, the lady in here from New Orleans ain't laughing at all to uh -uh, none of these jokes. Uh -uh. They don't take it. They t Our congressman today actually requested um, officially – um, Steve Scalise mm -hmm. requested that they play the game over again to the NFL. So, I mean, it's not going to happen, but that's how serious we're taking this, that we got our congressmen involved. Okay. <laughs> we we writing letters and to our senators. You there. know, they had to move the referees from the hotel in New Orleans because they got threats before yeah. they even got into the hotel good. They, they deserve it. But they said they're making voodoo dolls. That's the symbol. They're, they're, they're selling voodoo dolls. You know, voodoo dolls you know in Louisiana, Louisiana, we do that kind of, we'll put your name in our shoe and walk you down. Oh, oh all God. All that. Like, yeah. All that. Yeah, write your name in chicken blood on the bathroom wall. If we gonna, something going to happen to them refs. We will not let this stand. And that's a Cowboys fan. Right. Here's, I mean, something's got to happen. Punishment needs to be doled out. Can't let this thing go. Now, you used to work for the government. I did. I worked in politics a long time. I'm glad it's over. And the shutdown that's going on now that oh, Trump's man. in. What do you think? Man, I, I, you know, I was one of the comics that, that wanted Donald Trump to get elected because I was like, what's the worst that could happen? I just thought it'd be good for material. <laughs> right. You know, right. I, thought, I thought everybody was just playing. <laughs> but it's getting worse by the day. Are you surprised being in politics? I am. This is very surprising. Uh, the power everywhere. Kim Kardashian got the power to get people out of jail. <laughs> Rudy Giuliani, who was who was married to his cousins, got all on TV all the time. We used to hide these people, right? If, if you got caught with a sex tape, we used to hide you. Now this woman getting people out of jail. Right. And, and, yeah. and Rudy Giuliani, you married your cousin. We used to make you, we hide you in the basement. You can't hide, marry your cousin. And married his cousin for 14 years. Yeah. And this is who represents the president. And this and I travel out the country. This is who see these people. They see us on TV. Now, how are you supposed to tell them that y'all not bumpkins when the the president's lawyer, the president of America's lawyer, married his cousin? They know this in France. They they know that kind of stuff. So it's just embarrassing all overall to the whole country. It's a big. But you got a lot of material. I do, uh, and, and that's the important thing. <laughs> that's the important thing. I know it's people that's not working right now, but they got to really think about me and, and my travel schedule and how much material I need. Do, so, people ever t go ahead, you, do people ever tell you you look like Kirk Franklin? All the time. Kirk and Franklin, especially now he, as you're living here. Oh, yeah. Kirk Franklin's wife mistook me for Kirk Franklin. All the time. <laughs> that's the honest to God true statement. Tammy mistook you for Kirk Franklin. Sure did. Franklin. Um, I was at a Kurt Franklin concert sitting on the front row. This is when him and Steve Harvey was traveling together, mm -hmm. um, doing that thing years They're ago. And I came and sat down on the front row, and his wife did a double take and almost came to me thinking that I was him. <laughs> and she was sitting on the front row as well, maybe about four people down. Uh -huh. But she did a double take thinking that I was her husband. And he, from the crowd, thought I was him. <laughs> <laughs> I am not lying. I'm oh, not lying. That's crazy. He from the crowd did a double take at me. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I realized that we, you know, we got a lot of the same habits, too. We both got a, you know, we both got addiction to, to not so good you know, the Naughty Magazine. <laughs> you know, not I, so good. Yeah, the not know, so good do, Naughty do Magazine. Do you still Naughty have Mag that? No, no, no. I had, I had to go see a therapist about mine. Oh, you yeah. <laughs> I knew do I had you a get problem. women because of that? Because you look no. like Kirk? No, 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 indeed. 
I had to go see a therapist. One time I pulled up to my house before I opened the door. I spit on the lock and then put the key in. <laughs> I said, I think I need to go. I think I need to go see oh somebody. Oh, my God. I don't know how Kurt Franklin knew. <laughs> but I knew I needed some help. Oh, my God. Because you're not supposed to be lubing up no house lock. <laughs> Where are you performing? The Arlington Improv. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You are hysterical. <laughs> Now, can you explain and, and remind people how you got the part that you did in, in which um, a One whole episode favorite. was written for you on Atlanta? I, the grace of God is how I got it. I've Amen. never auditioned for a show in my life. I've never sent no tape in. I um, felt like if I did stand-up comedy um, well enough that mm-hmm. the phone would ring in other ways. And out the blue, um, Donald Glover wrote this part for me. Now, I went to Atlanta thinking that I was an extra in this show. I had no idea that the episode was about me at all. Wow. And the first inkling that I got is when I landed, the guy from production picked me up and said, yeah, we got you a new trailer, and uh, <laughs> you're going to love it. We put you in the back with Dawn. I was like, what does an extra need with a new trailer? <laughs> <laughs> and it still didn't hit me. And I, it didn't hit me until they came in there and dropped that big script down on that desk, and I had a whole panic attack. <laughs> <laughs> but it worked out. It, um, it really I, did. I buckled down and learned lines and ad lived as much as I could, faked it till I made it. And yeah. how did Donald Glover know about you? Since you he don't saw that, no he saw my HBO um, set. Oh, so okay. My, yep, we did. I did an HBO thing um, set, mm-hmm. um, all deaf in 2016, and he saw that. And, and Bibby was was part of that uh, stand up routine. No, not at all. He just wrote it based on that stand up routine. Wow. Oh, is that yep. right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That was it. Yeah, that is so cool. And now, so I asked if you had gone Hollywood. You said no, but you know, I hadn't. But I will. I'm okay. taking. I'm you taking are. all offers. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm a, I came up here to see if I can find an investor <coughs> in my show right now. As my, now that you mentioned it, thank you for bringing it up. I was wondering if somebody, you know, a media mogul of some sort, would be interested in investing. You want some young, pizza? <laughs> <laughs> That's all he got. We might have a slice of Papa John's for you. <laughs> okay. You got to try. Are you married? Are you single, married? I'm, I'm not married, but I'm, I'm with a lady that would be mad if she heard me say I wasn't married. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I'm Is with she a waiting lady for you that to pop the question? I, didn't no, say. I mean, we 10 years in. I don't think I got to so pop what the you, question. So what do you What? I don't know her yet. I'm trying to get the notice first. <laughs> Right. These people change right. at your fifteen. Uh, has, has he ever ghosted you, darling? Has people he ever change. ghosted you? No. Oh, okay. there she okay. is. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, ain't nobody going nowhere. This is the same lady I was homeless with. This is the same lady that she I bought that ranch too. with. Okay, so yeah, times we are together. good now. What yeah. are you doing? I still what are you don't waiting know. for? I, you she don't know feel her. like we married. You, she okay, what about like you? You need me to play the jingle. I feel that way as well. What about, <laughs> what about your What about your mamas? Tom, help me out here. Uh, <laughs> Jingle. Why are, you, why are you letting them handle me this bad this time of morning? <laughs> the Arlington Improv this weekend. Yeah. And, yes. and when you go see him at the Arlington Improv, tell Robert to marry that girl. <laughs> Would you marry her? Get the oh. ring. Oh, she so has fun. one already. I'm sorry. She has a ring? Oh, she has access to everything. She, it, she it, doesn't it, have it, access we need to pay for our S title. Make her legal. Uh, I, 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 okay. I didn't mean for this to happen. <laughs> I don't know how you. Don't hold this <laughs> Why'd you let them? We, we don't make no like sense. We need them this. papers. Uh, yeah, Get the papers. Feel. I'm sorry. Okay. Man. You okay. need some have a good papers. Have a good show. <laughs> From who? At the, uh, From the Lord. Tom, how'd you let this happen to me? You just came out of nowhere. <laughs> we was talking about the Saints and football. <laughs> oh, roll no. over on North Richland Hills and look for your little piece of property. Yep. Marry that and, girl. And we'll look Marry for you that. at the time during our All-State Family Reunion, okay? Please do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, it got warm, didn't it? Didn't it? Go to blackamericaweb.com for, the, for details on the All-State time during a family reunion. Labor Day weekend. 25 past the hour. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like a good...